All right, welcome and welcome back, everyone. Uh, all our pieces so far, like I said, they did a real good job of taking all the tiny pieces and putting them right into the structure or the build. Got the, I so got our fireplace, and our, I think this is going to be in like the back wall. This may be where the fireplace comes goes. I'm not sure. No, it's not because the fireplace has got a angle on there. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm <laughs> babbling. But uh, I say, I say, this, this is real star of the show. The I've noticed that as I've been moving around, my my layers have been sort of mixing, which sort of to be expected when you move glitter around. That does happen. But uh, I think this is turning out really nice so far. So I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Like I said last night, we should be getting into building some of the actual structure today. And uh, oh yeah, I keep forgetting to tell people. If you're new here, this is what I do. I buy little kits like this and build them in real time, step by step, so you can see all my successes and all my failures and how I hopefully fix any failures that do result. Try and stay positive and happy. And uh, if you have any, seen any kits or anything like this that you'd sort of like to see build, feel free to drop it in the comments and I'll put them on the list. I've got a pretty substantial list going right now, but I'm also working through it pretty quick too. So it's I'll get around to them eventually. But anyway, without any further ado, we are ready for step 18. So I'm going to grab those up and I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we are going to make us some hanging, hanging handles, it appears. So start off with the one with two. And I painted the wrong side black, it appears. <laughs> or I say painted, I colored the wrong side black. This this is this is the part that's going to be exposed. So I want to hit it, sort of put it in the shadows to make it. I think it'll look a little more magical if it's. <laughs> that's my theory. Whether it's, practice is another thing, but it doesn't take long to do this. So. All right. So I say that sort of colored in, and I say this is the part that's going to be showing. So that's why I wanted to do it like that. And we get this guy goes in here. These appear to be very easy to break, so I'm being extra careful with where I grab them. And I also did paint the sides of the candles in. I don't know if it'll ever, I may mean, not end up showing in the uh, long run, but I, I thought I got the white paint pen, so I might as well. And then we want the one with the two, and like this goes in the other one. Okay, so we got that sort of situation going. Let's see how to do them threes. Yeah, I managed to paint the wrong side of it too. <laughs> I, mean, I keep saying paint, but color in. <laughs> There it goes. And then this little guy goes in the last one. Really tight fit. <laughs> Should have started. Well, I think they're going to be cramped no matter what you do. So. Alright. That took a good bit longer than I thought it was going to. I get well, three minutes, so it's not that bad. But, and that's that's the end of step 18. Coming right back at you with step 19. All right. So we got a little, just a little jewelry box situation. It looks like so. Okay, 
this is the one with the hole in it, is the top. So. And yeah. you got on the sides. And then the bottom. Okay, and like I've been doing, do my coloring my It's hard to tell, but yeah, I'm all sort of evened out. Now just drop a glue around the edge of the hole there and drop our oh, bead in. It's going to hold that in place. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to hit. I'm determined to knock that thing off the table somewhere. That's all for 19. Right back with 20. Okay, pretty straightforward. Just putting a doorway in here and a hook here. Edges there. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, B7000. Don't think I actually dropped the name in that last step. So dabs all the way around. Probably excessive amounts of glue, considering the amount of bonding I actually need here. <laughs> the outside. I think I can do the inside after it dries. If the glue doesn't dry on it before I get it done. <laughs> Another thing that may not even show up. But before I install it I will color in the inside too right now. That's all there is for step 20. We're, business is about to pick up on this next one, so this <laughs> we've had we've had our easy part, so we'll get to the more a little more complicated stuff over the next couple of steps. So right back with 21. Okay, here we go. Get to put together some of the actual structure now. So these two are gonna go together. On the scene outside our window there. I'll go like these two slots. So here, 
snug fit. That's good. <laughs> oh, and actually, the little gap in between there to sort of create that illusion of depth. Uh, got like sort of a shadow box effect going there. I uh, like that. tabs on these sides here so there I think there yeah there and then the floor there so I wasn't expecting this to cooperate <laughs> it's all lined up pretty good Ooh, that one's not Guy here that's not wanting to cooperate. There it went. I was he was very much not wanting to go. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be. I guess that's. Yeah, I guess that's the same size. Seemed like it was taller than some of the other book nooks, but it seems to be about the same size. Ooh, I just saw that I didn't color in the inside of this window either. I sort of wish I'd done that now. <laughs> eh, maybe it's better this brown. Sort of matches that texture there. Alright. That is all for that step. We'll get to move into the wiring next. So that's, you know, you all know that's where the real fun begins. <laughs> but I'll be right back with that. Okay, I detached them from the battery box just so I could be a little more, have a little more flexibility. Basically, we got, it says, two 10 centimeters, a 20, one of these, yeah, the 20 centimeter, and two 40 centimeters. And we're working with the two 10 centimeters now. Oops, and need some wire clamps. <laughs> okay, so they're supposed to go in these two holes respectively. And they are supposed to be bent 90 degrees. And somewhere I've got ah, oh, some, let's see, where is it? Okay, so these two guys are supposed to bring it in. Okay, so let's just go over to a 90. And same on this one. Let's see. One down bottom, one up top. And these sort of clamp them in place. So. Through there, that thing gets that. Put this in here to take up some space so I don't break anything. Hopefully, <laughs> something to push against. that in the middle so we got something to brace again oh actually this one got a, got a hole here so I can push against this <laughs> all right now we got light up top light down the bottom I'm a, we don't get to install it yet, but that just looks like that's where the fireplace is going to go, don't it? <laughs> Here's a, got a little tiny 
Yeah, got a little tab. So yeah, I'm sure that's the backlight for our fireplace. All right. Well, that went much, much like last step. That went much faster than I thought it was going to. So, onwards and upwards, on to step 23. Okay, here we go. So... The, our candles go uh, these two notches up here above our window frame Pretty nice. And then this guy goes in right here, evidently. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Sort of see so around our to our staircase back here. Okay, and that light's gonna shine through the screw. Oh, what just fell? Oh, okay, there's okay. Thought I'd already broke something, but it's just didn't take these bits out. So that light's gonna hopefully shine all through here. So that'll be cool. Okay. Now this guy. Take our so this goes here, it says. So it is about the right length and width there. All right, so let's. I'm gonna go go wild and not, not even use a crop cloth. Those corners and a couple more spots there and there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm supposed to color the inside of that. <laughs> okay, I can do that while I'm waiting on this to... Okay. Alright, let's get that, that get a little sticky. Let's see if I can't pull this one back out. Cooperate with me. Color these back in. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably won't even be able to see the most of this detail here, but. <laughs> Not on this side because that's going to be facing the back, but which appears to be good because it looks like this is the uneven side. <laughs> but I'm going, might as well go all out. Alright, so that's it. Again, 
should be easier now that I've got it broken in. <laughs> or not. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think that looks better. <laughs> A little more contrast there. Now I'll go ahead and tell you, just, just noticed having that hook right there next to those candles makes me nervous because that feels like I'm going to break something there. <laughs> but, okay, now I got you. That should be. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> now this guy goes into the. That into the side there. Slot there. I think it's only two places showing so far. So ease you over there. Maybe and drop you down. battery pack on see how these lights look to do some more wiring <laughs> all right that's all step 23 so right back with step 24 okay a little bit more wiring here it's supposed to take the, tw the 20 centimeter one detangle it from the rat's nest here <laughs> and it go and whoops I pulled those where did I put them I lost I've lost my clamps <laughs> too much stuff here Do -do -do. I thought I pulled them No, I did not. <laughs> okay, so get the clamps going on here. Forget about them. And actually, I missed another piece in here too. I'm betting a thousand for the step. So these two guys and G1 as well. Mm -hmm. And G, yep, G1 up here. That's pretty much all it's going to be showing when it's all said and done. I'll go ahead and do the side sides as well, just because. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm not even going to worry about taking the sand in on these. Just knock them. Yeah, there it goes. 
fade it on through. And where am I going with this? Yeah, I want to get in there and do the 90 degrees on it as well. wires in on those four guys there so this is gonna be snug <laughs> you go where are you going here that hair goes right okay so I'm gonna start actually I'm gonna start over here on this end I think we should be I think they're gonna be loose enough Get them lined up. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. There. Okay. There it goes. Yeah, it's gonna be loose enough to. Yeah. Manipulate it. Between those two, do the same thing again, hopefully. Tighten that corner there. Let's see if I can get this. there. I think I can. Nope. Whew. Okay. Well, this video is moving along too quickly anyway. Okay, there. I got one in so I can hopefully there she goes. Alright, nice. Now, so, through there. Alright, so that's. There we go. And. Oh, now we take this guy, sort of cover up all our. Do it from this side. I'll smother you. Very snug, so I'm not going to worry about gluing that one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what covers are. Yeah, so it's going to let the light shine down. Actually, I'm going to bend that light up a little bit because that's. <laughs> Yeah. Obscure it a little bit better there. Okay. And you're really snug in there. All right. And that is all for step 24. Getting, oh. <laughs> getting, the, the, getting slightly less messy back here with all these wires actually getting routed somewhere. But on to 25, we get to take a break from this and do some other stuff for 25. So right back with that. Okay, get to make, I'm pretty sure this is the last two books we get to make for this one, or have to make. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. <laughs> but uh, trim these out first and then... Mm-hmm. I got a little... Mm-hmm. 
Easy part. <laughs> now, pick these up. Link. Let's see how steady my hand is tonight. <laughs> change my hand my mind really quickly on this but let's find out if I'm left a little more meat on there. Cut it all the way through. It's next question. <laughs> Most of it is. <laughs> sense of false sense of confidence. Let's see if I can do better this time. A little firmer on it. Okay. Yeah. Lost it on that one. This one, <laughs> yeah, most of it missed a little spot in the middle. Okay, all right, and I'm getting the obnoxious little low battery signal. So let me swap the batteries out right quick, and we'll wrap this part up. I still got a couple of steps to go, but we'll knock these books out hopefully pretty quick. Okay, one more set of pages to cut out. And we will finish up here. Okay, let's see. Mm, I think I missed that one. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Not too bad. That's what I got a little off on one side. Let's, <laughs> considering how bad these things usually look once I fold them up, it's, uh, I think, okay. Oh. 
definitely been easier to do these two with scissors, but I already had the knife out. Okay. Cap it. And... gets what? Purple one goes with this one. Blue one goes with this one. Now, these are not perforated like that last one was. That was just a dream come true. <laughs> so let's see here. I'm just going to do them all up, because once you crease them, it, they fold pretty good. with it so I'm gonna roll the dice and peel this backing and go for it. Shouldn't have peeled it all at once. <laughs> too badly. <laughs> okay, it wasn't going too badly. I think I just goofed it up. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. What was it that did the... Was it the... It was that one that had the, the sticky books, but it was still... Oh. Oops. Okay, it's no doesn't have a front and back, it's both backs. Okay, there. All these stickies in here, it's hard to... <laughs> okay. And... Ooh, open up. Somewhat. Okay, yeah. Probably have to do some work on the key, separating them and whatnot, but yeah, it should be reasonable. <laughs> okay. Now this time, I'm not going to peel the back all the way off the thing at once. I'm going to peel it off as I bend it. Hopefully maintain some of the... Maybe that'll work better, I'm not sure. Hmm. 
pages maybe get separate there it goes okay so maybe three All my creases here. a little better it still feels ungainly <laughs> It's still a little crooked, but looks like a ye olde book. <laughs> sort of rough around the edges. That's sort of spell booky, I guess. <laughs> and it lays open pretty good, too. All right. All right, so that is all for step 25. Right back with 26. Okay, looks pretty pretty straightforward. Just making us a lectern. It'll be straightforward. This. <laughs> hmm. Not wanting to play. Okay, there. I think it's finally went in. <laughs> This onto here. And that onto here. Uh -huh. Got a picture of glue on here. Okay, I think that's for the book. <laughs> I'm about to put a book on here. Okay. All right. So we got that. And it looks like this book is supposed to be glued in place, like so. I think I might get out the old Gorilla Super Glue for this. Focus. <laughs> Just inst just get the instant bond on something simple like this is more convenient. Okay, just do a little bit on each side. I always forget how much that stuff stinks. <laughs> and then ease you down. And 
better page of that. Maybe. Alright, something like that. <laughs> Alright, and that's all for 26. I'm gonna get a little exciting now. I could actually do a little more substantial building on 27. So, right back with that. Alright, so I'm building us some steps. So, these guys go in. There, which goes in oh, oh. <laughs> here, and then this one there, go in here, this one. Okay, now go back and touch up my edge here and even those out a bit and our little witch comes in I did paint the back of her leg white to match her pantaloons it looks like <laughs> oh I knocked it off okay she goes in the bottom step here Making a step up onto the next one. And then our gate goes up here. Whoa. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, that's all for 27. I'm going to do two more steps tonight and get a good bit of construction done here. So right back with 28. Okay, we get to install all our pieces now. So our little witch going up the steps goes back here. Hmm. Hmm. I may have. I wouldn't think it looks like it looks the same. Let me. It's a, actually, looks like that makes a difference. It's a little closer to the <laughs> end. Uh, yeah, I'm having a little clearance issue there, so I, I think that. I think that might be it. Like this is just a little overhang there, so I don't. This is mostly. It doesn't seem like it would matter, but yeah, I think it's a little bit more flush that way. So let's get our steps back together. Get my <laughs> marker out again to clean up these ledges. Try that again. Mm. Okay, that was not it. <laughs> it's really tight fit and hard to get pressure down. Okay. That one. 
one down. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the rest of them to... Okay, now that'll it sort of knocked that guy out of whack. Or out of the way. So let's see if I can't get this into... No, not with that I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this is irritating. <laughs> let's see here. Some pressure down there. All right. There she goes. And of course now I got that <laughs> step. The most visible one, if not. Coloring in there. Alright. I hope the rest of these pieces work better than that. <laughs> okay, our fireplace. And at the back, I say that. Much more cooperative there. Excellent. <laughs> These steps are still bugging me. <laughs> okay. There's gaps in there, and that's. <laughs> Gap right there. I can see it from the other side, and that bothers me. Maybe I guess. Okay. Put them on one at a time, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully, not break her. Okay. Put that in real tight. Mm -hmm. you. Okay. These are all nice and snug now. Still gap in there. That's okay. Oh. It's one of those things that you know, the whole thing's falling apart. <laughs> mm. Okay. I think I need to leave it alone. I've got it reasonable now. Looks good from that side. Yeah. Haven't broke anything yet. <laughs> okay. Now, our cabinet goes in to that notch with here. Should be. Wait a second, what's going on here? Okay, I put this piece on upside down. There shouldn't be, yeah, I shouldn't have these feet. They're, they're, yeah, they're supposed to go up to the top, but that's okay because these, that, I can just break them off and they, Yep, that worked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
And that is all for 28, which took, a, as usual, took longer than it should have. Getting our downstairs area done up pretty well. So, right back. I'm going to do it 29 and call it a night. So, right back with that. Oops. Need this too. <laughs> All right, so we got our pet dragon, our jewelry treasure slash box, and our lectern with our book on it. Okay, so lectern goes all the way back there, right into that one. <laughs> See if I can enable my way in here. slash treasure box I guess an outline right there that it goes on so just gonna hit the bottom you grab the glue make sure we got our latch facing forward Cover up the line from this side so it's not showing on our carpet. All right, then a little pet dragon. <laughs> he goes right there on the carpet. This little foot thing there. All right. Here we go. Got a couple more things to go somewhere up in here, down here, but so that looks getting some good progress made. And our box of tiny pieces, our tray of tiny pieces, is fairly empty. Just three little books and a, four, I guess four books and a, a scroll. <laughs> but yeah, that's looking good. But anyway, that's going to be enough for me tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.